So this is an this is just a huge shock. A huge shock to absolutely nobody. Nobody whatsoever. The Washington Commanders are expected to put the franchise tag on Deron Payne. And as I said, this is an absolute shock to absolutely nobody because it, it was expected. Now, honestly, I wish that the Commanders would just get it over with and pay the man because honestly... You know, he, he played his backside off, and he, he earned a big contract. Now, certainly the other thing you want to consider in this is, did he play this great in a contract season to earn that contract, and then how is it going to play after that? Because as we have seen with players in the past where they're in their contract year, and you see them play like, I mean, they just raise it to the highest level, Right. And then they get that big old contract, and then it's just like smooth sailing for them after that. They kind of, you know, level off. They don't want to get hurt. They want to earn that contract. Well, they earned that contract, so now they they want to they want to bring in all that money. You know that they they don't, don't want to risk anything, and so they kind of dial back on the playing a little bit. So sometimes, as an organization. When you look at some of these players, and you know Deron Payne, he's played well. He's he's been solid for the Washington Commanders all these years, I believe. Certainly, he turned it up a notch or two in this last year. The Commanders decided not to exercise their fifth year extension for Deron Payne, making him a free agent at the end of this past season. So. Ryan Payne's like, okay, I'm going to show you what I'm worth. And he went out and he played his hind end off. Now, he didn't initially get selected to the Pro Bowl, but someone dropped out. So that made him a Pro Bowl selection to the greatest flag football game ever, I guess. But I haven't said all of that. Here we are with uh, Drawn Payne right now a likely candidate to be franchise tagged for the Washington Commanders. Now, I think this actually does make a lot of sense for the Commanders because hopefully they'll be getting Fedorian Mathis back healthy this season. Mathis was drafted basically to be the replacement of Deron Payne if they decided to trade him last year, which they did not, obviously. Or if they felt like if Mathis played well enough, they could cut Ron Payne, or not really cut him, but you know, let him go in free agency. They have a replacement for him, and that could still be a possibility. So this is almost like year one for Fedorian Mathis all over again. It's like a uh, it's like a mulligan, so to speak. So you get Fedorian Mathis back in there, his second season. This time, hopefully, he stays healthy. You have Ron Payne tagged. Now, they could always do the tag and trade, and that's always a possibility. And then you take the chance and hope that Fedorian Mathis is that guy that you drafted to replace um, Deron Payne. And, but it's a big chance because, like I said, you know, Mathis suffered that season end an injury early in the season. So that's already a red flag. It's like, is this guy going to be injury prone, you know, or was that just some freak of nature injury that hopefully we won't ever have to worry about that ever again, he'll come back, he'll be stronger as ever, or what's going to happen, so there's a lot of question marks surrounding Mathis, and because of that, you really have no choice but to tag Deron Payne and see what happens, now ultimately, yeah, it would be great to signed Ron Payne to a long-term contract and then have both of those guys and you're able to have the luxury of rotating those guys in and out. But And you'll have that luxury this year, hopefully, assuming both guys are healthy. Uh, but, I mean, let's get real. You're not going to have that luxury down the road. So maybe the thought is still a tag and trade. For Deron Payne, that could, that could be, 
But it is taking a big chance if you do that because you're assuming you're not going to have any more injury issues with Fedorian Mathis and that he is 100% ready to go. And I don't think that he's going to be 100% ready, healthy throughout this entire season next season. It usually takes a little while to come back from an injury like that. So, you know, a lot is up in the air. But I think ultimately this is probably the best decision for the Washington Commanders. I know, you know, as a Washington football fan, we feel like we're snake bitten with every decision that has been made. You know, moving up, spending all these draft picks and moving up to draft RG3 and that one spectacular season and then he gets injured and then he's nothing after that. We felt, you know, we felt betrayed and, and jipped out of that. And then, you know, you go to um, Kirk Cousins who you're kind of like, well, we're on the fence on him. You know, he, he's able to, to pad the stats. We don't know if he could really be the guy. Uh, you're, you're on the fence of like, does he deserve a big contract? I remember back, what was it, 2015 or so, there was half and half with with the fans. Half the fans were like, he doesn't deserve a contract. We haven't seen enough from him. The other half is like, you might as well go ahead and give him a contract now. And what did they do? They tagged him, and then, boy, did he use that up. Got tagged twice, got all of his guaranteed money, and he left Washington and got even more money. And, you know, you could argue that he has probably, well, you'd have to ask Minnesota Vikings fans, but I think for the most part, he's been a solid quarterback. So, you know, you kind of feel a little burnt from that as well. And then, so you get into this situation where it's another tag issue and you're like, no, 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 no. We can't, we can't do the tag. It's just going to be the same thing. You know, look at what Brandon Sheriff did. He, he worked on the ch- tag and then the next year he was gone. So it's going to be the same thing with Ron Payne. Yes, it could likely be the same thing that happens with Ron Payne as well, but you tag them because you're in a situation where you just want to see was that year a fluke? Or is this guy going to continue to play at that level? And the guys that are the depth chart behind him, are they going to really be able to be a guy who could step in and literally take over and play at that high of a level? Possibly. Possibly. But I would definitely say that overall, you know, I, I really... I really think this was a solid move. Um, I really think it was a solid move. And certainly, you know, if we read the Bleacher Report here, and I just stop yapping my gums, uh, Deron Payne coming off one of his most productive seasons of his career, um, and the Washington Commanders aren't willing to let him go easily. Uh, according to the Athletics, uh, Ben Stanzik, man, hold on. Got to have another cup of coffee. Mm. Okay. Payne enjoyed a breakout campaign in which he played all 17 games and recorded a career-high 11.5 sacks along with 32 total sack, total tackles, 18 for loss, 5 passes defended, and a fumble recovery. With their stalwart defensive tackle leading the way, the Commanders ranked third in total defense and seventh in scoring defense. If Payne and Washington can't come to an agreement on a long-term deal, the franchise tag will officially be placed on him on March the 7th. If the tag is applied by that point, both sides will have until July 15th to negotiate a contract extension before Payne would have to play the 2023 season under the tender. The franchise tag for defensive tackles is worth $18.9 million. So believe me, Ron Payne, it's not going to hurt him one bit to to play under, under the tender. Sorry, I am still sick trying to put out these videos. I am a nasally little 
white boy, so uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we're going to probably have him regardless. Um, so, and, and that's okay. I think the best deal right now is for the commanders to, you know, give him the tender and then, oh Lord, man, the struggle is real. I'm going to end this video before I, I keep yapping. It's already 10 minutes long anyway. Um, but the long and short of it is, folks, do you agree with me? Do you think it's a good idea to give Deron Payne the franchise tag? Do you think he's going to sign it by the deadline? And if so, do you think their long-term deal is going to get worked out? Or do you think there's going to be a tag and trade sort of thing in place? Um, and do you think Fedoria Mathis is going to be a good replacement if we do Jetson? Deron Payne. Let me all that. Let me know all of that in the comments section. And speaking of the comments, that helps me when you do interact with the video. It helps the algorithm. Helps to get this video out. Uh, and if anything, please just like the video. That also helps to boost that algorithm um, and share it with your buddies as well. You can also help me out by one subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And two, you can help me with my Etsy page. It's called Envy Artwork. I have lots of cool stuff on here. I've got um, commanders mugs, uh, uh, personalized mugs. like uh, So you won't find this anywhere else. Um, I've got Redskins um, banners. Yes, because I still call them Redskins. Uh, Cowboys for the, the enemies. i got Cincinnati Bengals flags as well. Red Wolves because, well, why not? Why not? There's still some Red Wolves fans out there who hold on to hope. Um, you know, and even Red Hogs fans. Because, you know, new ownership, they may change everything. Uh, music t-shirts, stuff for kids. Um, I've got tremendous wall art. Stuff in like a, a metal art design. I've got um, watercolors of like New York City. Space scenes on canvas. I've got a lot of cool stuff. It's in the artwork on Etsy. You need to check that out, folks. Get something for your money, and uh, it goes to a good cause. It goes to helping me build this channel so I can deliver some better content for you guys. Thank you. I'm going to take some medicine, and I've got to get to work. So, till next time. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.